Hi viewers, uh, how is your day today? I hope you're doing good. Today we are back to excite you with some good actions. This time we are going straight to uh, show you some devastating techniques to be on kicks and punches because several persons knows how to punch and kick but we are talking about a kick and a kick, a punch and a punch, not uh, the other way. The punch that you can bring down someone at, at one go and the kick that you can bring down someone at one go. So I'll quickly remind our first timers to always subscribe and hit the bell and leave your comments. Then for our esteem subscribers, we will always say thank you. So let's get down to action as you excite yourself with this. Stay tuned. Okay, first of all, we want to work on the punches. Everyone knows how to punch, but it's not everybody that knows how to punch. Punch and punch, like I said earlier, is different. Now, when you clench your fist, you're talking about a blow that can cause a serious damage. Notwithstanding the area of attack first, we'll come to the area of attack because there are specific areas of attack that where you release a blow on at will give you a devastating effect but there are others that may not so we will come to that but first of all we want to first of all see how you can clinch a fist and release a blow notwithstanding the area you are hitting that will give you a devastating effect now on the fist here we have the knuckles and we have the flat fist now if I punch with the flat here bah! It will, it will cause effect, but it will not bring the effect, the devastating effect we are talking about. Like I'm say, I said, we are not looking, we are not looking at the specific area yet. But the, the blow or the punch that will cause that damage or that devastation that we are talking about is the blow that carries the two knuckle fist, and which you have to make sure that you work on your two knuckle fist. The simple way is either you, you, you work out with your, use your press-ups, your knuckle press-up regularly. The other ways, we'll come to that, we are not, we are, I'm only bringing that as a summary. But you have to build on it before it can give you what you want. So now, when you release a two knuckle fist on any area, boom! It will cause the damage. I, I, I punch, but with a maximum restriction so you might just see pub land there but there's a very big restriction i have i have a target i know that i the the, the measurement of my my target to where i am hitting i i have taken the range already so i know i won't uh, super uh, surpass it okay now after that is said we now know that your two knuckle punch is what will give you the, the, the required devastating effect on whoever or the opponent you are hitting. So now we now go to specific areas. Now if you take those punches on a, a specific area, you have also different effect. Now if you take a flat punch, which might not give the devastation to here, which is the side where you have the rib cases, it will be painful but if you use the two knuckles it can break the rib case so we, we can now see when we talk about punch and punch and being a devastating punch and non-devastating punch that is it so for the flat there it will be painful yes but to cause that damage that we're talking about that you are looking for is the two knuckles Bam. now this two how does it happen when these two knuckles align with the rib bone it singles it out and bam, cause a breakage there so that's one on the rib now you come to the solar plexus here now in the solar plexus when you punch the flat it will still cause the pain but for it to be so for you to have that maximum devastation, two knuckles 
this knuckles now will penetrate the center of the solar plexus and you will see it could it could even see someone's breath when it goes in there so whenever you're doing such punch you have to be very 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 careful otherwise with just this one pop knuckles you can see someone's breath forever and you know what that means pop it goes all right now we've taken here we've taken there now another area still on the punching is here where we have the shoulder the shoulder and the elbow i mean yeah the shoulder here with the, the socket the shoulder socket now if you release a full flat punch here yes it will be painful but when you give a two knuckle punch here what happens it could penetrate in between the socket where you, where the the scapula and the shoulder i mean the the shoulder joins together fixed together it can dislodge it just as if you're taking this acupuncture palm straight there it could dislodge it so the same thing with the two knuckle fist punch palm so if you happen to take such punch at that point you have to be very careful so that if you never intend to 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 dislocate or to dislodge somebody's arm you should know that you shouldn't take that such punch especially two knuckle fist punch on that part okay now turn the back now this is the back where we have the bones running the backbone if you take a flat punch here it's like i said it will still be painful but when you take a two knuckle punch here you can feel something it will penetrate the bones that make the backbone are like rings connected 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 now when these two knuckles penetrate there it could push one of the bones one of the connectivity there and it will or it could shift adjust and uh, that could lead to paralyzing somebody so you have to be careful two knuckle face punch is very very devastating now we've taken one taking two taking three and we've taken four okay now we go to okay now the number fifth part which will be could be the last for today is to the throat here that's one only the flat punch can cause the damage but if you dare to use a two knuckle punch it will break the trachea immediately it will break it immediately and you know what that means so please don't try this unless there's a need for it you have to be in danger for you to be able to do such techniques okay so we are going to pause here for today till you come we come your way next time with some other actions and we will always i say i, I can't forget reminding our first timers to always always subscribe hit the bell and let's have your comments then our esteemed subscribers we will always tell you thank you keep it up stay tuned with us as we come your way again